Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Ms. Madhiha Devit, lecturer in biology at Government Degree College for Women, Kachaku. Today we will discuss systems of classification. There are basically four systems. The one is artificial system, second is natural system, third is evolutionary or phylogenetic system, and fourth one is modern system. So we will discuss them one by one. Number one, artificial system. The classification system based on one or two morphological characters for the identification of plants is called artificial system. The artificial system classification criteria is too arbitrary that is bounded by no law. It is based on observable characteristics, which can be observed. The system grouped many unrelated plants. The classification doesn't show affinities or uh, relationship among different groups. Most of the earlier classification systems were artificial. Its example, linear system of classification is an example of artificial system. Carl's Linnaeus used characters of stamens, that is male parts of the flowers. Image, you can see female part pistil, stigma, style, ovary and ovule. There are petals, sepals and stamens, male parts which consist of anthers and a long stalk filament. Linnaeus formed 24 classes of plants on the basis of characteristics of stamens. Carlinius placed many unrelated plants in a single group due to common characteristics of stamens. Now picture of stamens, anthers in which pollen grains are present, and a long stalk filament. Second system is natural system. This classification system which is based on set of characteristics for grouping similar plants is natural system. Various plants are grouped purely on the basis of morphological similarities in this system. The plants in the group have many natural affinities among them. Darwin had proposed the theory of natural selection. According to this theory, ancient old plants were related to modern plants. It helped in developing affinities relations among different groups of plants but evolutionary relations were not developed in the system. Example, the classification system of Bentham and Hooker is an example of natural system. Their system was based on morphological and reproductive characteristics. Third is phylogenetic system. Classification system which grouped plants on the basis of set of morphological characters and phylogenetic relations is called phylogenetic system of classification. The system is based on affinities and evolutionary relation among the plants. It was the most common or turning point, changing point in the history of plant classification. It includes Darwinian concept of evolution. Evolution joins or links the different group of plants into a tree of phylogenetic groups. That is there is some link present between the plants. This grouping is from simplest to complex. Example is classification system of angular parental and classification system of Bessie. Fourth last system is modern system. The classification system in which plants are grouped on the basis of morphological characteristics and some modern studies like anatomy, internal structure, paleontology, study of pollen grains, and then there is serology. Its definition is the study of serum, bodily fluids. Serum is a protein rich flu uh, liquid or fluid which separates when blood clots or coagulates. Karyology, study of chromosomes. Embryology, study of embryo. Phytogeography, phyto mean plants, that is, study of distribution of plants. And paleontology, study of fossils of plants. 
is or fossils is known as modern system of classification. It is based on new reformation in plant taxonomy or classification. Nowadays DNA, RNA, nucleotide sequences are used to arrange plants more scientifically into groups. It has made the taxonomy of plants more objective. Its example is the tectogen system of classification is an example of modern classification system of plants.